views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests and not necessarily those of the staff and management of WWDB TV. When my girl got the sweetest pussy. Welcome to Sin City Bounty. Dot com. That was beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely. Holy We've uh, been doing angels that. Angels and choirs and. We've been doing that dot com bit since the beginning. Mm -hmm. I think at least since the middle of season one. It was crazy pants. All right. Brie said, try being my age, Toxie O'Shea. Speaking of which, we're only six months away from Brie, season 10. Brie, she can't go backwards and be 29 again. True. Right? I can't. Oh, I have my volume on. It's like Turn I've never been now. on this show before. So, like I don't know what to we do. missed last week because it was the beginning of school, right? And we were fucking exhausted. I'm just going to let you guys know that the second day of school is even crazier than the first day of school because the first day of school is when your kid's schedule changes four times. And then the second day is when they're like, I think we got the right schedule, but probably not come back tomorrow. And what grade is, did he go into? Eighth grade. Jeez. I know. I know, right? Remember him when he was such a baby. Well, you've known him since before he was a squirt in my vagina. Yep. <laughs> I think. Five years ago when I met you. Was it five years ago? It was July 5th. So he was in. He was in third grade. You are so memorable that he literally remembers the day. It's probably on his Facebook page. But it popped up on my Facebook. Yeah. Oh, got it. Got that it. That was the first day I started shooting for Porn? the other place. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Got <laughs> it. I thought you were going in a whole different you way. Know, I, <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to finish your sentences. Johnny thought Fever, we had that kind of relationship. Johnny Phoebe here at WWDB mm. TV has no qualms about what he will shoot. He will shoot anything. And I would bet if you wanted to do a personal porn, he He'd would shoot it. it for you. Would you do it? If the price is right, damn right. He if the price is, right. is the consummate professional. And he will take off his shirt in addition for $500. Yes. <laughs> yes, because he's a team player. That's right. Team you know, player. If you think I'll do it for 350 now. 350 <laughs> He got a discount on the topless Johnny Fever. <gasps> So oh kids are all squared now, right? Kids yeah. are all squared? So far. And yours went into what grade? 11th. Wow. Right? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. A little insane. A little bit where we're juggling um, a very, very intense high school schedule. <laughs> intense, which includes a college course. <clears throat> and soccer. And um, varsity high school soccer um, and competitive club soccer. And for fun... On Friday night, she's in a 7v7 league. What you gonna do? Are you gonna make her get a job this year, too? Um, actually, oh, no. she was, yes, she was supposed to start this Saturday, but now her team is traveling to Tahoe for a tournament. Um, but she'll be going through ref training. She's going to ref the little kids in her spare time. And What's in the three minutes on Tuesday night? Like, yeah, in the little bit of spare time she has, this is, so what's perfect right now is that most, because she's, there are some rules in place when high school soccer is going on and club soccer, and they coexist, there's only so many hours she can dedicate to club soccer, which means her weekends, like for high school soccer, they don't do things on the weekends. Unless they do a, uh, this past weekend they did a scrimmage, then a team swim party. Needless to say, the schedule is packed. It's packed, but she's gonna have a couple weekends free. And just two for this next year. Probably just two for the next year. And but she's gonna I'm have gonna a job, both. fucking work. Not only am I gonna make her fucking work, she has volunteer work she has to do for National Honor Society, so whatever. <laughs> I started working when sleep. I was a sophomore, so. I started working I did as well. I started working the day after I turned 15 and a half, mm -hmm. which is the age you can the start age working. The age here in Nevada right. that right. you can go yeah. down to uh, the Bonanza <clears throat> Kids Protect and Protection whatever and go get, get, get your little license get so you can go get a job. License. Yeah. Well, so, we're, <clears throat> the the roughing is kind of perfect because they make a decent little chunk of change. If she's not in a tournament over the weekend, she can rough. And then it's something she can take with her to college. Mm -hmm. And if she has a spare weekend, wants to pick up some cash for pizza or pot, whatever, 
There she goes. Your kid is not a pot smoker. <laughs> no, she's not. My kid it's might become a pot smoker. He will probably become a wake and baker, like, at some point. Right. But, so, <clears throat> I would, I am not going to let my kid work. Uh, I worked through high school because I had to, because at some point, like, my parents could not afford to buy all the stuff for us, and especially not, like, the stuff I wanted, so mm-hmm. I had to work. If I wanted money to spend, if I wanted to go out with my friends, I had to work. I have worked super hard to put myself in a position where my kid doesn't have to do that. The first thing I did was I only had one. Right. Then there was a Yeah. So that expands the uh, spending pool. My kid is, I'm, I, I've told him straight out, you have one job when you're in school besides your chores, and that's to go to school. And... <clears throat> we like we are school focused like i let him slide last year he didn't take any um he didn't take any courses after school like he didn't join any extracurriculars and i told him this year you have to join two i don't care which two you join but you got to join two he wants to go to a competitive performance arts school next year and i'm like you have to have that on your resume right when you apply you got to do two and uh, so he's probably going to do chess club and D and D club or something like that. Which is and fine. I'm assuming I, I probably know which <clears throat> school, so he'll also need to keep his grades at a certain GPA, and not have absences. He is a perfect attendance every yep. year, yeah. because they'll uh, they'll check that. Actually, there's they'll two schools. That up. You know, he's not going to be able to have stories like ours, that we went to we started school when we were 15 and a half. Yeah. All of his friends will be sitting around talking about the shit job they got at Popeye's chicken or whatever and he'll just have to sit there all he'll quiet. have plenty of time to have shit jobs like yeah he'll have plenty he'll have, of time he'll there's have plenty time. of time to have shit jobs mm-hmm. the the thing he will the stories he will have will be uh <clears throat> i traveled for a band performance i traveled for this i did that i i did this i did that he wasn't restricted to whatever now on the summers if he wants to get a summer job as long as he's not uh in a competitive marching band performance, which they sometimes do that stuff on summertime, summertime, uh, he can get a job. But during school, no working. I'm all, can, during your lunch, can you work? <laughs> no. I, like, I made a commitment to him. I was like, when you are in school, your job is school. And if you need anything... I will go without so that you can get what you need. Hey, for those of you in chat, if you started school while, you, well, if you started a job while you were still in high school, tell us what shit job that was, and how old you were when you started it. Uh, besides babysitting, babysitting doesn't count. An actual, <coughs> like, get a paycheck, pay taxes out of a job. I was a cashier at Carl's Jr. My very, and that's Hardee's for those of you who live on the other side of the coast, other side of the country. That was my very first job, and it was. Amazing! I learned so much about interaction with people through that job. You haven't lived until you've had a burger thrown on you open face. Like, that's that's the shit right there. Or when you're hungover, serving hungover people in the breakfast la- drive through breakfast. Like, that was... I was a New Year's Day like that. I called my dad at, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, well, I'm still pretty drunk at this party. I gotta be at work in, like, two hours. Can you come get me? And he just came, picked me up, took me to work. No questions asked. That's a cool family right there. What about you? Uh, my very first job was as kitchen prep. Um, well, salad prep, I take that back. I made salads in a fancy restaurant back home. And then I left that job to go work at a department store called Hills Department Store back east where I worked in girls and infants. And I stayed there through college. I would come home every couple weekends. And it was mainly, you know, I had a lot of friends there and I had a really great time. So I'd come home and see them and i'm still friends with like so many people i used to work with so how old were you when you started i'm um, 16 so. right when i hit 16 yeah prior to that i did the whole babysitting and everything and mine was right at 15 and a half uh, backstock i did backstock for the 7-eleven my mom worked at hmm. abby <coughs> says uh, i worked at subway at 16 but before that i refed soccer for the youth soccer league at 14 so there fun go, abby see and Bree says, my first job was at a pizza place. My mom made me quit when she found out they only hired big boob girls. <laughs> Whoa, good mom. Hell no. I don't know. I'd probably say to my daughter, how are the tips? I don't know. Just I don't the necessarily. 
Johnny, I don't have a moral compass sometimes. Johnny, I know it was almost a century ago, but how was your, <laughs> what was you. your first job, and how old were you? I was five. Five? With a paycheck, paid taxes job? My first paycheck was probably about 11. <coughs> yeah. And that was here in Las Vegas. That was before child labor. I was laws. totally oh, just going to say that, but I'm trying to be um, nice. Mm-hmm. There was a health food store in front of our house. We were, we were on the other side of the street. And so I worked there on the weekends, stocking the shelves. And uh, when I was going across the street to Fifth Street School. Hmm. And that was That's my first real job. At 11? At 11. Mm-hmm. Well, however old I was in the, in the fifth grade. What did you say? What was the fifth, five-year-old one that you were doing? My mother owned a restaurant. Back right. in New York, and so I was the dishwasher. Did she pay at five? Yeah, you can't yeah, even we, reach the sink we, at five. We worked the farm since they we were used toddlers. To these old wooden milk crates. I used to stand yeah. up on the milk crates. Mm-hmm. She gave you a paycheck? Not really. I mean, she gave me money. Mm-hmm. But not a, not a check, you not know. the same. My my little brother was just he was back home at my dad's farm and he was sharing pictures of my nephew on the farm and I'm like, holy shit, did dad make him go to work already? Because <laughs> you know when when you're little, you, you're supposed to pick rocks so the um, the equipment doesn't hit them and shoot out and hurt right. somebody. Yeah. So yeah, like you do the family stuff from the time you're a little kid. Lisa says so. uh, she worked delivering newspapers and also restocked the shelves at the library at 16. Oh, what a great job. Oh, I would have killed to have a job at the library. Like that's That'd one of my, awesome. that's one of my, like, I, I would give my left nut to go back to school and become I, a librarian. You know what I just got hooked on? Phonics? Yes. No. Audio books. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm totally cranking through oh, them. yeah. So. I just finished an 80 hour book. It's actually three books combined into I'm a single audio. Children of Dune. Ooh. So my daughter does, um her volunteer work Mm -hmm. the main bout of it she does down at the discovery kids museum which is awesome i mean they have if you work so many hours you can uh, intern and get paid but then you need a set schedule and that doesn't work however here's one of the first things she said to me after one of her first days there she got in the car and she's like thank you (laughs) thank you like all right what what are we thanking me for and essentially it's because i always made her pick her shit up when she's done and she said you would be surprised at how many parents like let their kid wreck the display the little area where you go through with like the grocery cart the little fake store like they'll trash it and then walk away Uh, or they'll come and throw other things in the water things that aren't supposed to be there it drives me fucking batty oh my god parents like that drive me i i stopped going to kids things with my kid because of that because i wanted to beat some parents asses because they'd be like that's so fun and then walk away like bitch did you just leave that fun thing in the thing thing no you better go pick that up yeah have you seen the facebook meme about um the the uh worst thing about uh beating an uh um an unruly kid in the grocery store. Have you seen this meme? Because. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, if, uh, have you that, seen this? The worst meme? thing about feeding an unruly kid in the department in a, in a grocery store is not knowing whose kid it is. All right. Oh, yeah. I saw that. I mean, I will tell you if you want to beat my kid in a grocery store. I think we talked. I think we had a heated discussion on this one time because I believe there was at least one of us at this table who said they would smack someone else's child hey, but we won't go into it if i would if some little asshole hit me with a cart i would haul off and smack the <laughs> shit out of that little fucker i would i'd be like how you like that how about now catch me outside bro <laughs> so <laughs> she is a walking meme and if i even tried it like when the parents actually came to cash me outside i'd have to curl up and cry while my daughter took care of it i'd square up with them too because they probably just as terrible i'd still just that bitch down i'd be like what what are you gonna come at me for your little fucking asshole kid hit me with a cart how hard can a five-year-old kid with a cart hit you have you ever been hit by a cart no oh jesus yeah right in that goddamn achilles heel it don't take too much pressure to fucking buckle your knees i am not hitting a kid (laughs) i will 
<laughs> Let's see. Bree's mom ripped the manager a new asshole. Abby, I had a man yell at me that he wanted me to find a ruler and measure a footlong sub because he wanted an actual footlong sub as advertised. <laughs> nice. Yeah, my manager told him that was a ridiculous request and he could leave. Huzzah, manager. Huzzah. Hey, if you're watching this uh, video 20 years from now when we finally post it, uh, you're welcome to email us your story of your first job, and you can do that at sincitybounty at gmail.com. You can message us on Facebook, too, if you're watching this live. It's true, although we don't read a lot of those because we know exactly what the messages well, say. Well, all the messages I, are like, hi. They're like, hi. I, a lot of them are like, can you give me so-and-so's number? I masturbate to them six times a day. Mm, true, not happening we did get now. quite a few of those <laughs> lately. Yeah. I've I've been getting these spam messages. I have a pri I have a personal uh, business that I operate on the side, and I've been getting the same message from like a bunch of different people, and I've mostly been ignoring it. But like the twelfth one that I got, I finally was like, did because they were all worded exactly the same. Can you please give me more information about your business? And I'm like, number one, no, because nothing in there said you even paid any attention to what my business is on Facebook. So the twelfth one, I was just so mad. I sent a message back and I said. And, but I wasn't rude. I said, uh, was there something that you didn't find on my website? Or uh, was the information you were looking for not posted on my website? And they responded back like, well, the context of that message was unnecessary. I found what I was looking for, but I'll take my business elsewhere. And I was like, peace out, bitch, because I am not performing whatever it is that my business is. Yes, you are. For you. No. No, that's one of the cool things about being uh, owning your own business. You can yes. pick and choose clients. You can be like, no, <laughs> no, and no, no, no. Yeah, can you do this? No. Did you have a no? Did you say no? Did I say no? Yeah. What did? Oh yeah. Oh. He said you couldn't be. They couldn't be here any longer. Okay, because I don't think this microphone picked him up way over there because he's not talking into his microphone. <laughs> okay. Johnny, we like you get that so microphone sorry. so close to your mouth as if you're about to suck a you know, big juicy dick. Oh, yeah. I, sometimes, I have to finish. Sometimes I think he hits the wrong button and he thinks he turns on his mic and he doesn't. And, and, and I do because the, the one for the phone is right next to it. <laughs> the one for the phone we're, is right next to meanwhile, it. Meanwhile, we're fucking calling Domino's. <laughs> four pizzas show up. Uh, well, you know, we like, I turn my mic on. You know, we take it because we're fat girls. Right, right. I take we that shit so home. Eat the pizza. I'll be like, breakfast and lunch tomorrow. I even have red pepper flakes in my purse just in case I run into random pizza in there. <laughs> and I, I, can, I can prove that shit. <laughs> in case I run into random pizza. My friends are always ordering pizza, so I never know when I'm going to run into random pizza. I, I'm, I'm getting Okay. It. Here Why I have I my emergency to... sriracha packet. Oh, my See? God. My emergency sriracha packet. My emergency uh, sucralose. Oh, God. And just in case, I have some tea. Just guys. My purse is full of 32 tampons and about 27 lip glosses. I got nothing. <laughs> I got Red nothing else. Pepper flakes. Yep, got my sriracha, just in case. Along with tea and Splenda, in case I feel like sweet. I don't even out. know. And this I, is a little light, actually. I, uh, I need to restock this. I feel like I want to look in my purse now because I feel so uninteresting. I love like playing the most those uninteresting person. I love playing those what's in your purse well, games. What else? Bring it over. Let's All see right. what else we Isn't have. Isn't that uh, something let's see what they we do? Have. Um, let's make let's a see deal. What we have. No, this is this mm. and aspirin is the only thing I have. All right, so mm. this is my Vera Bradley. Everybody, you and all. They don't carry this style purse anymore. I'm super mad. I went to go get a new one this weekend, and they don't they don't carry this style anymore. What's the name of this game? Uh, what's in your purse? What's in your purse? All right. Come on, lay it on me. Let's get some questions over here. Come on. Chat, you can throw it in here too. What's in our purse? I'm almost <laughs> embarrassed. This is like the first time I've had a non-coach like purse. purse. And, and I'm going to tell yes. you, this is not actually McCormick brand red pepper. <laughs> this is my mom's Thai chili red pepper. Mm. Got a random wrapper, anything in here? No, no comments yet on what we want to see in our purses? How about you, Let's Are see. there Condom. any guesses on what's in the purse? Condom. That should be the number one thing that should always be in your purse. 
So not is condom. Time. Okay. Condom. Always prepared. Um, do something defensive. Oh, uh, that would be any number of my keys in here. Um, because if you hold it by this thing here and you swing it, you'll hit them no matter which way you swing your hand. Okay. So. Lip glosses, nail polish. <laughs> she can squirt her hand I sanitizer will, in there. I eyes. will do their nails. Fix totally, their totally. Squirt your I hand sanitizer I could, in there. I guess I could squirt hand yeah. sanitizer. Okay. Wow. Sex toy? Uh, no I could poke with toy. this. Yes. I have no sex toys. Inhaler. I could squirt I mean, it in their eye. Or do you really need that? Yes. I've never seen you use it. Yes. I've got a Vapo inhaler right. in case my nose is stuffy. Ooh, that's Ooh. That's why pen. it's still in her purse. Stolen, Stolen pen, pen from Johnny. Anything else, Abby? I feel like I wouldn't be shocked if Toxie mm -hmm. had a bullet vibrator in her purse. I, I do not have any sex toys in my purse. Is there anything you can that. use as a sex toy? Yeah. I will, I will I tell use you that. I could use that. I could use... You could probably, if you could figure out how to set the vibrate to keep going, you could probably use your phone. I forgot I had Curiously Strong Mints in my purse. Here's one thing I want to keep in mind. I'm constantly like telling my daughter go in and grab something, so I try not to keep anything too out of the ordinary. Umbrella is in my purse. My umbrella is in my car, but not Sunscreen. in my purse. Something else? Anything? Um, let's see. I know on Let's Make a Deal they always ask for stupid shit like paper clips. Yes, the bag mm. of sex toys is still at Sierra's. Yes, the bags of sex toys. Is I have a guy's still apartment key that I have not seen in months. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Wow. Come on, see if you got something better. Oh, see I, you got something oh better. it's missing. I used to have a little binder clip on these, on my business cards. Paper um, I got a work badge. I don't know if you're going to be able to beat this. I have SpongeBob cards from Dave and Buster's. <laughs> oh, I got a, no, nope, that won't count either. No, nope, I do not have a paper clip, I don't think. Which you? Crazy. A paper clip? Oh, we're looking for actual things? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, another bobby pins. Bobby pins, in a pinch, could work as paper clips. They could. Although, I don't think, uh, I don't. Uh, who does, well, let's make a deal now, Wayne yeah. Brady? Yeah. I don't think he would take them. No, I don't think he would either. Although, right. as long as I was standing in front of him, I, I would just, like, drool anyway, so I don't, wouldn't care. Yeah. All right. Mine's probably not as impressive as it would be if I didn't just switch purses. All right, next. Give me something else. Um, Random hotel keys? Ooh, not in this wallet. Oh, because I don't have my wallet with me. How did I pay for my Sonic, you might ask? Through my app. That's how yes, I Bree, I, because I, a couple of weeks ago, I wanted to get a purse that would only carry this book and some pens and my iPad, and so I bought a really pad. tight, cool bell purse that I saw a friend of mine have, and nothing fits in that purse except for this book, the pens that I have, the iPad, my pack of cigarettes, my little tiny skinny wallet that I had to buy so it would fit in that purse, and my red pepper flakes for random acts of pizza, and my What's ibuprofen. Nope. No I random hotel keys. I don't have a random hotel key, but once again, I have the key to a guy's apartment that I have not seen for months. That I, I think that would count. Months. That would count. It should count. I, I also have, have a light. clicker in my car to his security system. Oh, oh yeah, gemstones. Stone. Gemstones, in most uh, people who uh, are witches or pagans, I have a handful of them always there. carrying gemstones. Yep. Um, I've got uh, fortune telling cards. Uh, let's see. I've got the. I case. think this is better. Just let us know what you have. I've got the case else. for my uh, straw, but my straw is dirty. It needs to be cleaned. Uh, eyeglass thing. I've got a six foot charging cable, an express charging cable, and a about three dollars and change. Stephanie, we were playing. Guess what's in our purses? Um, I have a car charger. I have a small charger. I have a battery. <laughs> I have some mints. I have three buttons. I have some anti-itch cream because uh, sometimes I get itchy. My Bluetooth headphones, the most amazing headphones, but they're on their last legs. One lip gloss, a vapo inhaler, another lip gloss, <laughs> a mirror, a work badge, ticket stub for a comedy show that I went to recently. 
How uh, how how old is that? Uh, how old ticket? is the ticket stub? Oh, only a couple of weeks. I've got a purple sparkly headband. I've got a rock from Lake Erie. Ooh, random penny. Got Deadpool. Uh, CPR mask. I've got another lip gloss. I have almost as many, or mine are mostly chapsticks. Yeah, those are chapsticks. Glosses I, have a sheen to I them. Booger. I have one, two notebooks, my purse hanger, and then a shit ton of receipts. Hey, this is a great way to clean out my purse. It is a great way to clean out your purse. Now it's all going back in here. And that's besides a handful. Well, I have a handful of rocks besides the one from Lake Erie. And then, I uh, oh, forgot that one. And my voter registration card. No pocket card. vibrator, apparently, Stephanie. Not, we're both letdowns here. I know. <laughs> you know what? She's got so many chargers. Oh, she I could also totally have a use her charging cable. She could totally use her phone as a vibrator. Um, I do have vitamin D3 spray. So is it your turn to empty out your purse? Yeah. I mean, mine's nothing. <laughs> vitamin D3 spray. <laughs> it's as if we didn't have anything to talk about. Inhaler. <laughs> Super cool sunglasses. <laughs> Diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> Keychain. <coughs> With West no Mall keys. From Disney. It's my fob for my car. Ah, uh, got it. She's got one of those West keyless keys. Disney. Lots of hair ties. Lots of hair ties. Lots of allergy oh. pills because my daughter have, has allergies. I have a pin that says hashtag butt stuff. <laughs> that should totally be a that gift for uh, It was a good. gift to me. Uh. One of my students gave it to me. <laughs> I mean, AutoZone rewards, I nowhere near. Ass wipes. I know, Brie. close to butt stuff. Jesus, I have a work Stephanie key. says she has a compass. We have a lot of desert for me to get kidnapped and need to find my way home. I also, uh, I have a compass in my car. I don't need a compass. I'm tracked by multiple people. <laughs> Bree <laughs> says, can I please request that you all try harder next time with more interesting things? Abby says I, she has snacks in her purse. I so so what's funny that's is what, I normally I normally have a granola bar in here at all times. It's my mom thing. I almost always have a granola bar and random shit, but I literally just like less than two weeks ago switched to this other purse. So I know um, I sad. used to I carry a purse that was a little bit bigger than uh, Sierra's. No, a little bit bigger than Toxie's. And I do have someone's time card in here. For some reason, mm -hmm. those things, your purses become collectors of all the things. I must have had uh, a ream, half a ream of papers just folded it up, up. And stuffed in your purse? Yeah. And I, I just couldn't do it anymore, so... And I do this like every few years. I go and buy a really small purse to fit only the things that I need. And then you get frustrated with it, so you get a slightly bigger purse. Or you, you carry another that. bag. I do that when I go to class and I have extra books to carry. I have another bag just for that stuff. The cat bag is my spare bag. So you have that big, giant purse filled <laughs> yeah. with crap and an yeah. extra carry bag. That I, no I normally That normally has my work shoved in it. Have you ever thought about a backpack? I, yes. Yes. I you have, have a backpack. I do. I have a blue denim purse type backpack thing. It's convertible between the two. Um, I liked it when I had to use it when I hurt my back last year, but it was a pain in the ass to get into and out of because the straps go over the top of it and I was always, ugh. Anyway, I switched. I have had this purse for a couple of years now and I keep switching away from it to another one and then inevitably I do that gradual gain until I'm lugging around like five pounds of shit and uh, then I'm like disgusted with it, toss all the shit, get back into this purse and then slowly start filling it up with like fucking when, fortune cards and car chargers and shit. When I just clean out my last Sriracha. purse, swear to God, you guys keep and ask my daughter. I literally pulled like dried macaroni out of my purse. <laughs> I'm like, where the fuck? How fat do I have to be to have dried macaroni in my purse? I don't, it didn't make sense. But I always carry um, like my laptop in, no thank you, in a, a laptop bag. And then no, I but I'll take my, a mint. Through my last one, so I'm thinking of getting, I found a unicorn Jansport backpack mm -hmm. with unicorns, um, not real unicorns, but the blow-up ones from in the pool. Mm -hmm. You know, the blow-up pool floats. The floaties. 
Yeah, I saw it on somebody else's child for back to school <laughs> and realized I want it for myself. So. Did you know, that for my this back. devastated me when I saw it, but did you know that they sell bulletproof back backpacks for kids? Yeah. Yes, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. How sad is that? That's pretty sad. I didn't even go through what was in this bag. <laughs> Fanny pack, feel like it would draw away from my food pot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they have big girl fanny packs. They do. I got They're a kite to go pen. Seriously. That's All right. Them. Every once in a while, that purse clean. It feels good, but then you're like, fuck, when am I... Like, perfect example. Right now, I would have loved to have my macaroni to show you guys, but no, I had to clean my purse. Bree, send us what a reminder in three months, we'll do and uh, we'll do it again. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Toxie brought a story. I did. I brought two, actually. One I can relate to, the other I cannot. <laughs> but for some news. Yeah, so, actually, let's go over a few things. There's a shit ton going on. There is a shit, shit ton. Um, but I just got an invite for a new club in San Diego. Ooh. And it has the cutest name. Hmm. So it's called Club Chub. That's adorable. And I believe, don't quote me on it, um, because I didn't ask her directly yet, but I believe it's affiliated with Lacey, um, who we've spoke to before on the show at different events. And um, the first one is October 5th. So I would like to take this trip to San Diego. If anybody else would like to go, we'll see. And go to uh, Club Chub. Club Chub. So super excited about that. As long as we can stay at a La Quinta or a Hilton. I was gonna sleep in her car. Like she's got. <laughs> it is a pretty. She's got sweet a better setup. setup than a La Quinta. <laughs> La Quinta gives you uh, breakfast. They all give you breakfast. So do I. <laughs> That's right? true. Right? That is true. I completely forgot. Okay, if you can get a KOA next to Club Chub, we will totally go and stay in the car. Oh, yeah. Or Actually, hell, October, no. it's going to be beautiful. We can just sleep under the stars, baby. Hell no. Three of us, we'll get a camping cabin. I, get I mean, the top at this bunk. point, come on, guys. Can we just get a place with a shower? Like, let's just go in on a room. <laughs> come on. We got a couple months. Let's just go in I'm on a room. I'm telling you. There's, uh, there's showers at the KOA. <laughs> come on. Come on. It's going to be really hard for me to, like, bring a dude back to my KOA cabin. So. No, it won't, because there will be two more of us there. Ayo! <laughs> Orgy. I'll be like, would you like to come back to my KOA cabin? I have two other women with me. <laughs> that, my, uh, I know very few dudes who would turn that down. <laughs> as long as there is a plug-in so I can make popcorn. I, why do you think I would say anywhere without a plug-in? Have yeah, you gotta, met me? Got to charge our phones. I'm not Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> Sierra's gonna make a popcorn plug-in with like I don't know two sticks. I would just like to let you know that me and my prep partner have a uh, ready-to-go solar system that will light our booth at that event we're doing in November. <laughs> See? Okay. We ain't going without power, bitches. I, as a matter of fact, I carry a solar panel in my car that I can use to charge <coughs> my phone. One of these days, we're going to make them small enough you can carry it in your purse, and then we can wow the audience. If my purse were a Abby. little bit bigger, the one that I have would fit in it. Abby, seriously, we are so missing out on this. I keep looking down and catching a glimpse, and I'm like, I'm going to have to come back and partake later. Um, so this, so I, I found two articles, and I printed them because one sounds like it could be me, and the other could not. Hey, uh, oh. Sergey Jr., I would just like to let you know that you need to slow your roll, or we're going to block you, dude. This is not a place for you to go and troll for girls or try to get dates. Well, back it up. He's from London. I'm in. <laughs> God damn it, woman. No. You were too easy. No, I'm kidding. So all you right. roll, Sergey. We're here to have fun. We're all about to have fun, but please stop hitting up our girls in our chats. When I was at my mom's today, uh, she, my mom always has Fox News on. And uh, Sierra is going to get me uh, the instructions on how to put the parental. Child lock the channel lock so it, she can't watch anymore but there was a story about uh the fbi is looking for more information about ex-british spy and get this name it's the best name christopher Steele. 
Wow. Right? That is right exactly. out of a Harlequin a romance. Yeah. And, and they showed a full, uh, my mom has the big giant TV, so they put oh, his right. face right in the middle of the TV, and I was like, God damn, that would be James Bond if, I, seriously, like, good looking, you know who that ex-British, is, right? I have no idea who? who it is. That's the guy who wrote the, um, the thing about uh, the dossier. The it, I was just going to say, That's it sounds it. like that a can, dossier guy. That he can prove the ties between Trump and Russia. Yeah. 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 Hmm. That he likes and pee-pee. That was, you know, that was a few, few years back. But, but yeah. the, the only thing I noticed was ex-British spy Christopher Steele. And I was like, well, goddamn, isn't that a spy name already? So I have to tell you guys a really quick little story. I actually had three articles to bring, and the third one was on queefing. Because <laughs> I've seen a video going around about queefing, and it's like fact versus fiction. So... I'm very specific at work that I separate my work from my show. Like, I don't do anything there show-related, except I really wanted to print this. So I quickly sent it to myself so I could print, delete, and bring it. And I never received it, so I sent it again. And I never received it. And I did it a third time, and I'm pretty sure I'm sending my corporate office an article on queefing. Um, (laughs) So... Needless to say, I don't have that particular article here. That's amazing. But I hope they're getting it. I want to go to work with you tomorrow. I, you know, we'll see what happens. They're, they're quite religious folks, so. I'm super duper glad see. I have a printer yeah, on my desk. Live your work tomorrow. I have, I, I'm the only one in my office, at least, so I have my own printer, and I was trying to be smart and wirelessly, like, send it, and I'm like, all right, well, that's not working because I wirelessly print shit from my phone. I'm like, oh, it's not working, so I'll just quickly email it to myself and then print it, grab it, and it didn't work. Nice. So enjoy. If you've got your if your company uh, might have spam filters and there might be keywords that trigger a. Uh, I bet queef is one. Like I feel like queef I'm is pretty sure queefing on is on a list of words for shit that shall not be sent through our email servers. But it was it's a really great article, um, and I might pull it up on my phone if we have some time. But if not, guys, there's this awesome video circulating on Facebook. And it's about queefing. It's like fact versus fiction. Mm. And like if you watch the little video, it's a cartoon and it has like little flaps and it's, you know, it's quite funny. I love the Um, way your head moves and your ponytail goes. (laughs) She looks like the most adorable villain ever. (laughs) So, um, so we're left with the other two articles. I apologize. No queefing article today, wow. but... This actually sounds like somebody we know. So... <laughs> it does. <laughs> let's start with that one. New Jersey woman burns down house of man who called her for sex at 4 a.m., then fell asleep. So this woman had... It was a failed booty call. She showed up at... This guy texted her 4 a.m., said, hey, come over for a booty call, and then he fell asleep. Intent on having a hot date anyway, she went to a gas station, bought lighter fluid in a lighter, and um, set his home on fire. (laughs) We know somebody (laughs) like this. Um, Upon getting there, she tried calling him eight times. He didn't pick up. She texted him, I want to see you die. You wasted my money to come here. Oh, Um, wow. Wait, she had to Uber to his house? I would fucking burn his house down, too. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't burn it down. He escaped through a window, suffered burns and smoke inhalation. He only had a T-shirt covered in soot. Um, The home, its contents were destroyed, but the firefighter saved his dog. Yay. Hooray for firefighters. She was, well, I mean, um, besides the whole lost everything you own. She was arrested on Tuesday. Charges include arson and attempted murder. They're really how much I wonder how much she had to spend that she thought it was worth buying something else to, to burn his house down. So I, my here's my thing, like for real though, why? What dude is fucking worth that? Did you think you would not get maybe caught? It was an expensive Uber. Like, I don't know. You See, don't take an not... Uber XL for a fucking booty call. You take a shared lift ride. You'd be like, $3.85. Like, that's what you do for a booty call. And there's, a, there's like, a line versus what's premeditated and, like, an act of um, passion or whatever. Like, the fact that she left, went and bought the supplies and came back. That's premeditated. premeditated. Yeah. So, anyway, I... 
The reason I bring this up is I like to say I'm crazy, but the fun kind, not this kind. <laughs> so. You may be crazy, but not New Jersey crazy. Right, right. Yeah. right. I'm crazy, but not Jersey set. You set your ass on fire at 4 a.m. crazy. That's some bullshit. So here's the next one. Do you know if they've ever followed up? Like, did they interview her? Did they talk to her? This just happened. Well, the 18th. What's today? I'm, I want to assume. I want to assume that this was not the first time this has happened with her. And I want to assume that he is some kind of player and he's been stringing her along for a while but still you don't set the balls on fire you don't yeah like, you don't set the fucking house you on don't. fire there's like literally I mean, there was a dog in there i mean you have you have to think though what would how hard or how far was she pushed to even contemplate to, to actually do it. But I don't think any of it's that matters. New Jersey. <laughs> right. It's not an ex- I've been I've met New Jersey people. I've never crossed far. that it's line. Listen, that's not an excuse anywhere else, but in Jersey we let it go. <laughs> I've never crossed that line. I've been pushed super close to it, but I've never crossed that line into property damage. Right. She literally ruined her life for a booty call. Literally. Seriously. Yeah. And then you have to be in prison. And then when people are like, what are you in here for? You know, I murdered someone. I strangled someone. I buried a body. I burned a bitch's house down because he wasted my fucking time and money. She's got a pretty killer uh, story. Why is she going to him anyway? Because she wanted dick, Brie. I don't know. Not not dick, Brie. Like, that's... No. <laughs> nobody likes Fomunda. Nobody dick, likes Dick, comma, Brie. <laughs> nobody likes Dick Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a wide open door. I had to walk right through it. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't have to walk through. You could have stand it from 40 feet away and shouted it through the doorway. It was so open. <laughs> yeah. Toxic could have thrown a ball through that door. It was so wide open. And she can't hit shit. I can't. She's, her child did not get her athletic ability no. from her mother. No, she asks that all the time. I don't know where this came from as I'm walking into a wall. <laughs> this is a good one. All right, what's the next one? <laughs> 45% of Americans wear the same underwear for two days or longer. Now, apparently, a lot of Americans are not wearing fresh pairs of underwear every day. The underwear company, Tommy John, recently surveyed a thousand men and women in the U.S. to find out about their hygiene habits. About 45% of those surveyed said they have worn the same pair of underwear for two days or longer. Meanwhile, 13% claim to have worn the same pair for a week or more. The company also found that men were 2.5 times more likely than women to wear their underwear for more than a week. Uh, if you've met my ex-husband, you know that's true. And I say that kindly because he will say shit like that. Like he'll tell Sorry, you. Sorry, I've got to block Sergey because he apparently did not listen to us. I'm curious about how often people swap out their underwear. According to the survey, 46% admitted to owning the same pair for a year or longer. 38% said they didn't even know how long they've kept the same underwear. According to Tommy John, who, again, wants to sell underwear, um, said it's a good idea to replace your old underwear with a new pair every six months to a year Mm -mm. to ensure you are protected from harmful infections and health risks. You're supposed to wash your fucking underwear. That'll protect you from harmless infections. Isn't Tommy John one of those places that sell their underwear for like $12.50 for one pair? Yeah, probably. So I will admit that I will sometimes wear underwear if I wear underwear for two days or more. That's if I haven't sweated the fuck out of them mm-hmm. or, or discharged, discharged all, over all over them or bled into them. Yeah, no, like not in the summertime. No. In the wintertime, though, I might wear a pair for two days in a row. You know I've never gone a week. Because she knows how to wipe her ass. I sure do. I don't leave no brown shit streaks all up I in my I know how underwear. to wipe my ass, but I have never worn a pair of underwear for more than a day. I can't. I, I can't. Can but I also have to shower every single day. Like, I can never... If you're going to shower, then yes, you should put on a new pair. Yeah, Yeah, I I can't can't shower every single day. It would absolutely destroy my skin. But, yeah, two days. Yeah, but if if you're going to um, Victoria's Secret for some of you ladies and Lane Bryant for some of you other ladies, it is $45 for, what do they have, a special three pair for $45. 
I'm like, holy, holy crap. I'm going to go to Hanes or Walmart and buy a six a pack, pack for $5. And you get around school time, you get an extra two pack for Right? Me. Hey, how come he didn't get blocked? Probably because I wasn't uh, doing it from the thing. You have to be on the show one. I do have to be on the show so, one. Um, I, so here's what I'm going to tell you. The one that first surprised me is you're supposed to replace your old underwear every six months to a year. Mitch. And I have to tell you guys, I did that. But not on purpose. I don't know if you guys remember, but a year ago, I accidentally donated my underwear to Goodwill. Yes. All, All of them. All of my motherfucking <laughs> panties. That was the greatest. All of them. That was the greatest text of my life. <laughs> I go, I drive away from the last load that we have loaded into her, because uh, she moved. I helped her move. We unloaded the last load. I am like halfway home, and I get a text. I think I just donated all my underwear to Goodwill. I had to pull the fuck over because that was the most hilarious thing that I have ever heard in my fucking life. She did. So all of my panties <coughs> have been purchased within the last year. So they're new. Um, so Bree they're new. is correct. She says in chat that it's mm. guys, which I'm going to say that I'm thinking the majority of the people, the majority of the 45% of people who wear the same underwear for two days or longer is men. Yeah, it says they're two two point five times more likely than women. And the reason I brought like I'm not shit talking about ex husband, I'm not saying anything he literally wouldn't come on and say himself. He was so nonchalant about like, yeah, I'm just throwing these back on and I'm like, Can we not? Like let's They're buy standing more. up by themselves. Yeah, and he's like, No, they're still good for another day or two. Because most no. men don't wipe the tip of their dick after they pee. So you notice on the front of their underwear that little tiny wet spot you have a ton of those on the front of your underwear if you haven't changed it or washed it in a while mm -hmm. that means you're yeah boys you're are saturated house if i did not regularly tell my child to change his fucking underwear he would never change his underwear he'd be walking around crackling and just be like crack 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 Ugh. I'm because I, I spend teenage more, boys are disgusting <laughs> because I spend more on mine like I can only I wear a certain type from Lane Bryant just because it fits my shape better mm -hmm. so I spend I mean it's not a zillion dollars but I spend more so I don't like to throw them away if I don't have to and I don't like to donate them all to Goodwill um, but my daughter I'll just buy her the pack ones and um, I will throw those fuckers away. Like, I will, I'm like six months. I have no issue with that. But I know I bought like 23 pairs in a pack at Target for, you know, $7. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't care. Yeah, that is the upside but, uh, to boys' underwear. I can just, I can spend like eight bucks and get 45 pairs of underwear. Right. And you can just, that's it. Just you can throw chuck them at them. We do the same with socks. Like, I used yeah. to, I, I've spent so much of my life matching socks. And then. It became kind of great when my daughter started wearing mismatched socks on purpose. So I'm like, all right, let's just throw those fuckers in a basket. And then I, eventually I got to like, well, these have seen their day. <laughs> You've had them about a year now. Let's. Bree says she never throws hers away until the elastic blows out. Yeah. I buy, um, so the, the underwear with the elastic bands in the tops and the legs, I can't wear those for whatever reason. Uh, they just irritate the shit out of me. So mine have to be like seamless panties where they don't have the their the whole thing almost is stretchy. Boxers, almost girl boxers. I know boxers. you're talking about. Yeah. I and so I can't wear those because those won't stay down on my ash cheeks. Oh yes, yeah, they're see, sexy. I have no ass at all, so I have to have underwear that is tight on top but sort of loose on the bottom to yeah. accommodate my fat thighs and zero ass. They're difficult to find. I and there's a, a pair. There's a style that I like by Delta Burke that nobody else likes, but they're fucking perfect for my ass. They're like the I like. Apparently, me and Delta Burke have the same shaped booty. I have these cutesy black ones that have that. Like it just has elastic, not elastic, lace on the edge, and this thin little clear piece, you know, underneath that's supposed to hold it in place. But I'm telling you, like 37 seconds in it. <laughs> That yeah. shit's up in my ass. No. Crack. Those like body shapers that you pull clear up to your fucking nipples that are supposed to smooth you out and they've got that no roll band that sticks to No. That mother I'll put that fucker on and sit down and just and just it turns into a pair of thong underwear in like three point two seconds. It just all rolls up into itself. Don't be fooled by that shaper mint website. Fuck those fucking Bree, things. Seamless panties left to ride up my ass. It's because we have the same ass Bree. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> We literally have ass doubles. <laughs> yeah, you are. 
So based on that shape, yeah, those suckers go in and someone's got to go dive in because it's never coming out. Yeah, I get zero curve in my ass, so. I'm a, Do you wear I'm a big fan of Hanes. Mm-hmm. Hanes or what's that other brand? Fruit of Loom. Fruit of Loom. Uh, I like them also on uh, above and beyond the fancy ones that you buy because the fancy ones you buy are almost all polyester. Mm-hmm. And Hanes or Fruit of Looms are 100% cotton. I love it. Yeah. I actually... I have to be careful with the polyester stuff. Yeah, I, that That's like sexy fun time panties. Yeah. Everything else has got to be a cotton blend. Got to be a cotton blend. What was that? Ten, Did you five show us minutes? your penis? Nice. Did you ask first? I mean, come on. Consent is sexy. That's my <laughs> That was the thing. five minute. Got it. I thought All it was All right. Penis. Underwear changes. Anything else on that? So I here's what I got out of the whole thing. I didn't know you're actually supposed to replace your you're underwear. You're not supposed to replace your underwear every six months. You replace your underwear when they die. As long as you're washing them regularly and washing right, right. them well, then there's it's just no like a bra. To. All those motherfuckers are like, you need to replace all your bras every six months. I'm like, do you know how much money that is? Yeah. Fuck that. No, you just take super good care of your bras. I got some bras that are two or three years old that are still in great shape because you. Number one, you don't wash them after ever wearing. I know that sounds gross, but if you take care of your boob sweat thing, it's not a big deal. And you let them air dry. You don't wear the same one two days in a row. You let those bitches air dry out. And you treat them sort of like you do stage costumes. If you spritz those bitches with some vodka every now and then, you can go a whole week with them. But <laughs> what? Have you never Every's done that? perfectly good vodka? No, you and buy no, the you I've buy the, you really buy the cheap vodka. vodka. I've never spritz my bras with vodka. Yeah, ever. you spritz them with vodka, and they kill the bacteria, the smelly bacteria. Remember who you don't this? Have to wash them as often. Remember who this survey was being done by? An by a company, company. that mm-hmm. charges. Yes, and you never br- dry them in the twenty four fifty for one pair of right. fucking underwear. I mean, I know not to dry them in the dryer, but I do anyway. <laughs> I do if I need one like dry like now, but uh, and it's usually I have one bra that I will abuse like that. But the rest of them, these are sixty, seventy, and eighty dollar bras because they don't make bras in my size at Walmart. So I have to spend money on them. Your bras are so pretty too. Ooh, they are. This one's. Can we do a bra shot on Facebook? It's. I don't know. You can. As All long right. as I think if Facebook only searching, has a problem with the nipple. If you yeah, as long as you keep your nipple, oh, man, you I should have done it when that dude was over there. Uh, yeah. Show so, your bra. All right. So this is one. I think my ex got me this one. Anyway. So. Oh, look how pretty that is. See, see That's the cool. pretty. You can't it's like Japanese it. silk painting almost. Yeah, it is. A little bow in the middle. Bow. And they're very well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Case. This is the magic company that makes my bras, Alomi. Uh, this is a shameless unpaid plug for Alomi bras from, I think they're from the UK. Spell it, spell it. E-L-O-M-I. Uh, Zoo Lily will occasionally have them on sale for like 40 bucks a bra, and then I'll get a couple pairs. Um, but there's a bra shop here in town way up by where you used to live that sells them, and I will go get them. I know exactly my size. Both titties fit inside of them. They keep everything where they're supposed to be. The bands are all in the right places. They're amazing. They're magic. I just go where the prepubescent girls go for their training bras. That's true. And I ask for one with a little bit of a bigger band. (laughs) Then I shove some washcloths in there. Junior plus section. Right. (laughs) Uh, All right. Any last words? We're down to like a minute. Last words. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, but your your, uh, last words are going to last like five. So do you have any last words? Uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Uh, if this ever makes it to YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon if you want to know when we post our next video in six months. Actually, I have a bunch ready to go. <laughs> yes. So you're gonna get I'm ding, 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 ding. Very excited. Yeah, turn uh, the bell icon off for about three days. Come back to also, us next. Also, Toxie has an Instagram. Toxie has an Instagram. Follow me on my Instagram. Toxie and O'Shea. she's taken over. I I I haven't touched the. <laughs> Cincinnati Bounty Instagram. So I have to go on regular. I have to log into there. It's on my phone, but I can't get in. I think you blocked me. No. It's I probably changed the password. You're like, probably. you're fucking ridiculous. You're off the Thank Instagram. you for joining us on Facebook. You can join us on Facebook every Tuesday at seven. Uh keep uh go follow our Facebook page so you know whether we're gonna be on or not. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is Alexia. Toxie. And Sierra. And we will see you next week. If you're brave enough. Later, bitches. Yes. <laughs>